Cleopatra VII Philopater born 69 BC and died August 10, 30 BC was queen of the Ptolemaic Kingdom of Egypt from 51 to 30 BC, and its last active ruler. A member of the Ptolemaic dynasty, she was a descendant of its founder Ptolemy I Soter, a Macedonian Greek general and companion of Alexander the Great. After the death of Cleopatra, Egypt became a province of the Roman Empire, marking the end of the second to last Hellenistic state and the age that had lasted since the reign of Alexander 336 to 323 BC. Her native language was Koine Greek, and she was the only Ptolemaic ruler to learn the Egyptian language. In 58 BC, Cleopatra presumably accompanied her father, Ptolemy XII Olides, during his exile to Rome after a revolt in Egypt a Roman client state allowed his rival daughter Berenice IV to claim his throne. Berenice was killed in 55 BC when Ptolemy returned to Egypt with Roman military assistance. When he died in 51 BC, the joint reign of Cleopatra and her brother Ptolemy XIII began, but a falling out between them led to open civil war. After losing the 48 BC Battle of Pharsalus in Greece against his rival Julius Caesar a Roman dictator and consul in Caesar's civil war, the Roman statesman Pompey fled to Egypt. Pompey had been a political ally of Ptolemy XII, but Ptolemy XIII, at the urging of his court eunuchs, had Pompey ambushed and killed before Caesar arrived and occupied Alexandria. Caesar then attempted to reconcile the rival Ptolemaic siblings, but Ptolemy's chief advisor, Pothianos, viewed Caesar's terms as favoring Cleopatra, so his forces besieged her and Caesar. At the palace, shortly after the siege was lifted by reinforcements, Ptolemy XIII died in the 47 BC Battle of the Nile. Cleopatra's half-sister Arsinoe IV was eventually exiled to Ephesus for her role in carrying out the siege. Caesar declared Cleopatra and her brother Ptolemy XIV joint rulers but maintained a private affair with Cleopatra that produced a son, Caesarion. Cleopatra traveled to Rome as a client queen in 46 and 44 BC, where she stayed at Caesar's villa. After the assassinations of Caesar and on her orders Ptolemy XIV in 44 BC, she named Caesarian co-ruler as Ptolemy XV. In the Liberator Civil War of 43-42 BC, Cleopatra sided with the Roman Second Triumvirate formed by Caesar's grandnephew and heir Octavian, Mark Antony, and Marcus Aemilius Lepigius. After their meeting at Tarsos in 41 BC, the queen had an affair with Antony. He carried out the execution of Arsinoe at her request, and became increasingly reliant on Cleopatra for both funding and military aid during his invasions of the Parthian Empire and the Kingdom of Armenia. The donations of Alexandria declared their children Alexander Helios, Cleopatra Selene II, and Ptolemy Philadelphus rulers over various erstwhile territories under Antony's triumviral authority. This event, their marriage, and Antony's divorce of Octavian's sister Octavia Minor led to the final war of the Roman Republic. Octavian engaged in a war of propaganda, forced Antony's allies in the Roman Senate to flee Rome in 32 BC, and declared war on Cleopatra. After defeating Antony and Cleopatra's naval fleet at the 31 BC Battle of Actium, Octavian's forces invaded Egypt in 30 BC and defeated Antony, leading to Antony's suicide. When Cleopatra learned that Octavian planned to bring her to his Roman triumphal procession, she killed herself by poisoning, contrary to the popular belief that she was bitten by an ASP. Cleopatra's legacy survives in ancient and modern works of art. Roman historiography and Latin poetry produced a generally critical view of the queen that pervaded later medieval and Renaissance literature. In the visual arts, her ancient depictions include Roman busts, paintings, and sculptures, cameo carvings and glass, Ptolemaic and Roman coinage, and reliefs. In Renaissance and Baroque art, she was the subject of many works including operas, paintings, poetry, sculptures, and theatrical dramas. She has become a pop culture icon of Egyptomania since the Victorian era, and in modern times, Cleopatra has appeared in the applied and fine arts, burlesque satire, Hollywood films, and brand images for commercial products. 8888 The Latinized form Cleopatra comes from the ancient Greek Cleopatra, meaning glory of her father, from Cleos, glory, and Pat, father. The masculine form would have been written either as Cleopatros or Patroclos. Cleopatra was the name of Alexander the Great's sister, as well as Cleopatra Alcyone, 
wife of Meleager in Greek mythology. Through the marriage of Ptolemy B. Epiphanes and Cleopatra Isaira a Seleucid princess, the name entered the Ptolemaic dynasty. Cleopatra's adopted title Theophilopatora means goddess who loves her father. After her suicide, Cleopatra's three surviving children, Cleopatra Selene II, Alexander Helios, and Ptolemy Philadelphos, were sent to Rome with Octavian's sister Octavia the Younger, a former wife of their father, as their guardian. Cleopatra Selene II and Alexander Helios were present in the Roman triumph of Octavian in 29 BC. The fates of Alexander Helios and Ptolemy Philadelphus are unknown after this point. Octavia arranged the betrothal of Cleopatra Selene II to Juba II, son of Juba I, whose North African kingdom of Numidia had been turned into a Roman province in 46 BC by Julius Caesar due to Juba I's support of Pompey. The Emperor Augustus installed Juba II and Cleopatra Selene II, after their wedding in 25 BC, as the new rulers of Mauritania, where they transformed the old Carthaginian city of Iol into their new capital, renamed Caesarea Mortanii modern Cherchel, Algeria. Cleopatra Selene II imported many important scholars, artists, and advisors from her mother's royal court in Alexandria to serve her in Caesarea, now permeated in Hellenistic Greek culture. She also named her son Ptolemy of Mauritania, in honor of their Ptolemaic dynastic heritage. Cleopatra Selene II died around 5 BC, and when Juba II died in 23-24 AD he was succeeded by his son Ptolemy. However, Ptolemy was eventually executed by the Roman Emperor Caligula in 40 AD, perhaps under the pretense that Ptolemy had unlawfully minted his own royal coinage and utilized regalia reserved for the Roman Emperor. Ptolemy of Mauritania was the last known monarch of the Ptolemaic dynasty, although Queen Zenobia, of the short-lived Pomerania Empire during the crisis of the 3rd century, would claim descent from Cleopatra. A cult dedicated to Cleopatra still existed as late as 373 AD when Patesnef, an Egyptian scribe of the Book of Isis, explained that he overlaid the figure of Cleopatra with gold. Cleopatra belonged to the Macedonian Greek dynasty of the Ptolemies, their European origins tracing back to northern Greece. Through her father, Ptolemy XII Olides, she was a descendant of two prominent companions of Alexander the Great of Macedon, the general Ptolemy Isoter, founder of the Ptolemaic Kingdom of Egypt, and Seleucus Inicator, the Macedonian Greek founder of the Seleucid Empire of West Asia. While Cleopatra's paternal line can be traced, the identity of her mother is unknown. She was presumably the daughter of Cleopatra VI Tryphena also known as Cleopatra V Tryphena, the sister wife of Ptolemy XII who had previously given birth to their daughter Berenice IV. Cleopatra Isaira was the only member of the Ptolemaic dynasty known for certain to have introduced some non-Greek ancestry. Her mother Laodice III was a daughter born to King Mithridates II of Pontus, a Persian of the Mithridatic dynasty, and his wife Laodice who had a mixed Greek-Persian heritage. Cleopatra Isaira's father Antiochus III the Great was a descendant of Queen Apama, the Sogdian Iranian wife of Seleucus Inicator. It is generally believed that the Ptolemies did not intermarry with native Egyptians. Michael Grant asserts that there is only one known Egyptian mistress of a Ptolemy and no known Egyptian wife of a Ptolemy, further arguing that Cleopatra probably did not have any Egyptian ancestry and would have described herself as Greek. Stacey Schiff writes that Cleopatra was a Macedonian Greek with some Persian ancestry, arguing that it was rare for the Ptolemies to have an Egyptian mistress. Dwayne W. Roller speculates that Cleopatra could have been the daughter of a theoretical half-Macedonian Greek, half-Egyptian woman from Memphis in northern Egypt belonging to a family of priests dedicated to, to a hypothesis not generally accepted in scholarship, but contends that whatever Cleopatra's ancestry, she valued her Greek Ptolemaic heritage the most. Ernel Bradford writes that Cleopatra challenged Rome not as an Egyptian woman but as a civilized Greek. Claims that Cleopatra was an illegitimate child never appeared in Roman propaganda against her. Strabo was the only ancient historian who claimed that Ptolemy XII's children born after Berenice IV, including Cleopatra, were illegitimate. Cleopatra V or VI was expelled from the court of Ptolemy XII in late 69 BC, a few months after the birth of Cleopatra, while Ptolemy XII's three younger children were all born during the absence of his wife. The high degree of inbreeding among the Ptolemies is also illustrated by Cleopatra's immediate ancestry, of which a reconstruction is shown below. The family tree given below also lists Cleopatra V, 
Ptolemy XII's wife, as a daughter of Ptolemy X Alexander I and Berenice III, which would make her a cousin of her husband, Ptolemy XII, but she could have been a daughter of Ptolemy IX Lathyros, which would have made her a sister wife of Ptolemy XII instead. The confused accounts in ancient primary sources have also led scholars to number Ptolemy XII's wife as either Cleopatra V or Cleopatra VI, the latter may have actually been a daughter of Ptolemy XII, and some use her as an indication that Cleopatra V had died in 69 BC rather than reappearing as a co-ruler with Berenice IV in 58 BC during Ptolemy XII's exile.